Hi, this is Bernie Leaving, Congregational Care Pastor here at Palmasio United Methodist, and welcome to this, uh, our second prayer cast. Yesterday morning as I was leaving the Y, I happened to run into a young woman that I had the privilege of doing her and her husband's uh, premarital counseling and marrying them several years ago. And she was telling me that they were very sad because yesterday they had lost their dog that had been their friend since before they were married and before the children came along. And she was talking really about the grief that they were feeling over this loss, the pain. And then I got to thinking about all the other ways in which grief comes into our life. For some people, it's the loss of a job. It might be the loss of, uh, of what we thought was, uh, was a safe financial investment. It might be the loss of a friendship or maybe a dream lost, and certainly the most significant loss that brings grief is that of a loved one. And that's what my three kids and I are dealing with tomorrow, which will be the first anniversary of the death of their mother, whom they called Mommy, and my beloved Dorothy of almost 55 years. Now, my three kids and I are all different, very different personalities, so we will all deal with our grief tomorrow in the way that best meets our needs. But you can bet that we're going to be talking on the phone, we're going to be emailing, and we're going to be texting about the day, and we will cry, and we will laugh. And that's a part of what it means to deal in a, I think, a positive way with grief, regardless of whatever it is that has brought it into our lives. We acknowledge that we are human, we hurt, we grieve. And so in our grieving, I would say that we need to be, if it's suitable for you to be talking about it, to, be, to share what you're feeling with a friend, uh, regardless of how long it's been since the loss, if it's still inside of you, gnawing at you, eating at you, then I would suggest that you talk to someone about it, uh, a friend, or if you need to be a pastor or, or a counselor. Because dealing with it means that we acknowledge the pain, the hurt, and then acknowledge that there can be for all of us hope in the world. And I think that's what Jesus was talking about when he said to the disciples that night in the upper room, that do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not let them be afraid. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. And so I want to say that if there's any place in your life today that there is a hurting, a pain over any kind of loss, regardless of how long ago or how, how short a time it's been since of that loss, remember that Jesus said he would give us his peace. May that be true for you, as I will pray that it will be true for me and my three kids tomorrow. Let us pray. Eternal, gracious, and loving God, we give you thanks for the gift of your presence with us. In the power of your Holy Spirit and in the presence of the risen Christ, that we might find hope for the living of each day. Help those of us, O oh Lord, this day who are dealing with any kind of a loss in our lives, are grieving over it, that we might know the comfort and the peace of your love for each one of us. Amen. Thank you very much for your, your comments, either verbally uh, to me personally or through the various media about the first prayer cast. We look forward to uh, having you share those comments with us on a weekly basis. And see you in church on Sunday.